How's it going, everybody? It's truly great to be alive. Thanks for tuning in. I make this message in regards to conflicts that are outside of us, that if you really look at people and the more that you do shadow work or if you actually take it upon yourself to help people or you're dealing with situations of where an individual is in a state of autopilot or subconsciously are making all these actions and mannerisms and behavioral traits, the more that you start to hold them accountable, they're going to end up telling you that they're unaware. Now, the more that you hold somebody accountable, they start to conflict inside their own self between right and wrong, and their own ego begins to battle them on the inside, and their subconscious begins this internal struggle. So don't be surprised if they potentially may attack you. This is where real deep love and forgiveness comes in, and also remembering that at one time, before your level of awareness of, you know, yourself realizing that how can you be angry at other people when those who hurt you, you hurt others exactly the same way, which would be an eye for an eye out of the Old Testament. The Old Testament used to be an eye for an eye, okay? And then as we have progressed now into the New Testament, which is the New Covenant, we now have a world where it's no longer an eye for an eye, it's supposed to be love thy enemy. And, you know, these are practices that are not exactly the easiest at first, okay? And in fact, it's the New Testament and our, you know, of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. So the New Testament is the actual way. And the more that we reflect on that, we're going to see the error of our ways of how, you know, the personal relationship with Jesus Christ and yourself and the world around you is most significant moving forward always. And so within the Lord's prayer, it's always calling upon the Lord, our Father who is in heaven, and the name of Yeshua we pray, hallowed be thy name, thy will be done. Forgive us of our trespasses, and we forgive those who trespass against us. It goes along with the mantra that I had disclosed before in another video. So when someone is out front of you, acting in a, in a mind of Belial, um, in a de deceptive way. This is a version of yourself to see as yourself, to try to learn to love this person as yourself, that they may be doing things that you're in denial of, which is why it's happening. You're finding resentment, which means it's unfair, or an act of indignation as though someone's hurting you, or a strong judgment, which we only judge what we don't understand, and we judge them not knowing that they don't know what they do. So what we're doing is joining the conflict. Each judgment is like throwing a stone at somebody. So essentially what we're doing is judging people for they do not know what they are doing. And every narcissist is a version of a narcissist outside yourself that the more that you can forgive this person, you're forgiving yourself, thus condensing their ego into a state of awareness which then they eventually will feel your love and forgiveness, which is you f forgiving yourself, God's forgiving them. And even the sins, bow yourself down inside yourself and humble yourself. Wrap your real love and forgiveness. It's not about having a one-up on anybody. What I realize is that the more that someone is being adversarial to us and we jump in with a conclusion of judgment, denial, accusation, resentment, we join the fight. We're no better than anybody else. It's to take a step back, finally have a resolution of peace with the person that's conflicting themselves outside of you. And if it wasn't for the things that I went through, I wouldn't know this information. So I have to thank the people that tested me and brought these challenges on me. And the only way that I was able to get myself back metaphysically to where I am now was by really forgiving and accepting and loving these people and truly taking them in as myself. And even though they hurt me and I could hold this up over them, getting down and really forgiving them inside myself has released all these entanglements in these versions, these fractal versions of them. They can now balance this out. God forgives them, if this makes sense. It's the same with Israel. Each moment of the stars in the celestial paradigm that we exist in, moving all the way down in the earth, there's always a conflict within things. And so it's either going to be peace or conflict. It's an ebb and a flow that constantly keeps going. The only way that the peace is really going to happen is if we start <clears throat> to recognize that murder, so from the moment that we had 
the Garden of Eden, old Grammy and Grampy, you know, ate from the tree of knowledge of good and evil and blamed each other and blamed the serpent. Forgive the serpent, love the serpent, understand the serpent, for the serpent is within us all. Love the wife as yourself, forgive her for what she did as you can be forgiven for the same thing, and we shall not within our contracts contracts of each other hold uh, elements of our own wars against one another as one does something inflicting upon you can we forgive and really truly let it go to where the next time something may arrive we're not bringing up two stones with the one if this makes sense now two stones three stones four stones before you know it you got 10 years and every time a fight occurs you're bringing up everything that happened before so try to forgive your loved one as yourself starting with grammy and grampy moving all the way down to our uncles okay uh, Abe, Abe, Cain, and Abel. They were brothers that killed each other. And anybody who can read the Bible will start to pick a side. And they'll believe that they're the Abel, failing to see that Cain is their brother, which is also a version of them. Start making peace with the Cain outside of you. Start making peace with the one who causes war. The antagonizer. The one that is making enmity with you. The one that is an accuser. The deceptive one. These are versions of ourself within an empath that we deny in ourselves to see and love and heal outside of ourselves. Thus will not have to affect us the same way. And it will redeem them at the same time. Moving forward into the wars. King David and all the things that the Israelis did. And everything up to their captivity that led to the end of the Old Testament. The Jews' denial of Jesus Christ. Their murder of Jesus Christ. Which is essentially them murdering and denying their own self. And they're not going to realize this until they get what they want. And then I've even realized sometimes when I get what I want, I'm not really too happy. But the New Testament, the only way is to really go in within the shadow with the Holy Spirit and God truly working back and forth. And this is a world thing. This is, it depends on who you are and what your really motives are, I believe, inside shadow work to read the heart of man. And I gave myself to God. Nothing really matters more than God. I do know that I have a seed that I progenerated and it's up to me to be responsible, be a good example and be there for her as well as an example of what it means for other light workers moving forward that have not come across this information to evolve the conscious evolution of self or the evolution of consciousness and to keep unfurling ourselves as we move forward and to know what's true also as we continue forward. Now, you know, within duality, good, bad, we can blend the two together and there is a gray area, but you can get lost in the gray area where you start letting things happen. Again, all is within the will of Christ. And eventually those who are righteous know what right is versus wrong. And they're not going to give themselves into all the same things that are mentioned throughout the Bible between, you know, malignancy, lasciviousness, um, maliciousness, uh, you know, fornicating, adulterous, all these specific things that live within the soul of man that need to be confronted and edified within each soul moving forward. So the wedding, the purity of our soul is fulfilled and uh, the elect and the chosen are truly elevated up and wherever we're going before the actual end of the world will be a testimony for those that we leave behind, if this makes sense, for them to percolate and culminate within those seeds necessary of saving themselves before the, the final real great day of the end. But we're all facing judgment, and it's our judgment, and at least I know that's what I'm facing, so I know that soon everyone will start a catalyst of the same exact thing. God bless you. I hope you enjoyed this message for the messages for all, from the all. God bless you. Shalom. Namaste. I'm with you. We're all in this together. No man greater than the next, for he who is within is greater than us all. See you in the next video.